We're going to look at another type of hypothesis test called the ANOVA. The ANOVA comes in many different styles, variations, and flavors. We're going to look at the most basic one, but all of the ANOVA tests look at a different distribution known as the F distribution. So let's get to know the new F distribution. Some of the characteristics of the F distribution. First off, I should say that F stands for fraction. And the math underneath the F distribution always uses a fraction where we're dividing some numerator by some denominator to make a comparison. First characteristic of the F distribution, it is not symmetrical. You might say it is skewed right, similar to the chi-squared distribution in that sense. And similar to the chi-squared, it is different curve based on the degrees of freedom. But there are degrees of freedom for both the numerator and the denominator. I mentioned it's a fraction. So different curve based on, we'll say, DFN, which is the degrees of freedom for the numerator, and the DFD, which is the degrees of freedom for the denominator. Another characteristic, also similar to the chi-squared, is that the test statistic, which we will represent with the capital F, is always positive. So if we were to draw a picture of all of these things together, it's going to be from 0 on up, skewed to the right. Of course, the exact shape will depend on the degrees of freedom for the numerator and the denominator, but that's the general shape of the F distribution. And similar to the chi-squared, we will use Excel to calculate for the right tail. Most of the time, the F distribution is a right tail test. With the ANOVA, it's always a right tail test, so that's all we're going to look at. For now, the Excel command is equals f dot dist dot right tail, RT for right tail. Then we put the f statistic, comma, the degrees of freedom for the numerator, comma, the degrees of freedom for the denominator. So for example, if we want to find the area to the right of f equals 1.53 if the degrees of freedom for the numerator equals 11 and the degrees of freedom for the denominator is equal to 14. In Excel, we could say equals f dot dist dot RT for right tail. The test statistic is 1.53. The degrees of freedom for the numerator is 11. And the degrees of freedom for the denominator is 14. And if you do that on Excel, you should get 0.2242. So that's our introduction to the F distribution. It's what we're going to do to conduct our ANOVA hypothesis test.